Hello, fourth graders, it's Ms. Leon. We are now moving on to our next topic, which is topic six. Um, our first lesson is where we are going to be doing comparison problems. And the comparison means that we're going to be seeing how two numbers or two things are different from each other. So when you are looking at the comparison problems or even when you're reading, any subject doesn't matter, you know that when things are being compared, the words would be ending in ER, like faster, slower, taller, shorter. That's a comparison because those words end in ER. Or you will have a number or a situation and they'll say something is as many as, and then the other thing. And then another key to comparison um, situations is when you see the word than when they say more than, less than, taller than, short, shorter than, the word than. These are all key words to, to talk about or to kind of clue you in that we're doing a comparison. To put this into perspective, we're gonna look at the story problem in our book. The story problem says, Max said the Rangers scored three times as many runs as the Stars. Jody said the Rangers scored eight more runs than the stars. Could both and Max and Jody be correct? The question is, could both Max and Jody be correct? I'm going to underline the question that it's asking me to solve. Okay, so as I have read through this problem, I have noticed that some of the keywords were times as many as, and then I see the word more, then I say, then I see than. And then I see both. So those are all some key words. Now I'm going to find the important numbers to the problem. And I have three. Um, I have eight. And let me check what else. Okay, so the numbers I have in this problem are three, eight. And then in our book, they always like to really trick you. You have the number four right here. It's It's showing you, but it's hard to always notice. But that is important too. So we have three, eight, and then four. And then we have this question mark by the Rangers. We don't, we don't know. So we're gonna have to do some problem solving here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna solve this problem um, with the, com the comparison of the multiplication. So we see that Max said the Rangers scored three times as many runs as the stars. So I see the word times, literally times. That means that we're going to be doing multiplication. We have three times something um, would equal the Rangers amount. So we don't know what the Rangers amount is. So we're gonna be finding three times something is going to be equaling the Rangers. So we're gonna use a bar diagram to solve. Okay, to solve this uh, problem with the bar diagram, this is our whole amount. So Max, what well his guess was a total amount for the Rangers. So that's gonna be the whole amount right here. And he says three times as many as the stars. So three times, which would be obviously three right here. And then this is how much the stars have scored. So now I'm going to need to do three boxes with four in the center. So we have three boxes and this is the star's amount that they showed. So how we solve this problem, I'm going to show your uh, fact family pyramid just so that way you can see with that pyramid, how that is going to look in a different way, but yet again. All right, the problem said that the Rangers scored three times as many as the stars, the stars were the amount four, and that is what Max said. So again, I'm gonna name this M for Max. So that is three times four, and that is going to be equaling what Max said, what his guesstimate or his amount was. So three times four equals 12. So tw uh, Max is saying that the Rangers scored 12 runs. So now we're going to be seeing what um, the other kid 
um, Jane says that they, or Jody said that they scored. And she said that the stars ran eight more than. So now we have to do her comparison using addition because we're seeing the words more than and not times. Because if you say that Miss Leon is shorter than, you know, Mr. Kohi, then you're going to have to add or subtract some inches. So when you're saying more than or, you know, less than, that's an addition subtraction situation. So now let's go ahead and show that using a bar diagram. All right, in Jody's situation, she said the stars scored eight more than, no, my number was eight, and then four. So, or, yeah, so the Rangers scored, um, sorry, the stars scored four, and she's saying that the Rangers scored eight more than that. And so I'm going to go ahead on my bar diagram, and I'm going to write J for Jody as she's saying that whole amount because that is her, that's what she's saying happen. And then I'm going to do this addition situation. So the bars are not gonna be of equal amount like they were a multiplication, because when you add, your amounts are not gonna be the same amount repeated every single time. So on this bar diagram, I have the four for the stars runs. And then she says that the Rangers did eight more. So this would be the eight more section that I will be paying more attention to. All right, so when I'm doing that, I'm knowing that this and this together is going to be equaling what we get at the very top of our bar diagram. So, here we go. I'm going to do four plus eight equals J. And I know that four plus eight is 12. So J equals 12. So now when I'm looking back at this, it says, are both kids right? Are both Max and Jody correct? Let's look. I have oops, and I see that I made a mistake up here. I am really embarrassed about that, but it's also uh, kind of early when I'm making this video. So here we go. I caught my mistake. That three times four, this is a real life situation anyway. You guys are going to have to check yourselves. Three times four is 12, and four plus eight is 12. So are both Max and Jody correct? Yes, absolutely, they are correct. They did their comparisons in two different ways. One you did, used it doing multiplication, the other one did addition. But in this instance, not every instance, but this instance, yes, they're absolutely both correct.